This is an electric baseboard heater thermostat. Sometimes they stick and they stay on all the time. No matter what you do with the setting, it'll stay on. What you can do is after you shut off the power and you disconnect it from the wall, and you take the whole piece out, you can disconnect this part from here, which is two bolts, which are these bolts here. And once you pull this off from this assembly, you need to take off this cover, which has two little tabs on each side. You can take it off. Now the way this works is you got the two wires internally here that's separated from these two contacts. Let me get some lighting here for you guys to see it better. Okay, you have this long piece of metal, which is connected to this one. And this one here is connected to this metal. And it's separated right here. And the way that works is on this piece here, when you turn this knob, it moves this plate back and forth from these, these tabs right here. As you turn the knob, it moves those tabs it moves this plate, which has a bolt through it, which is bolt right here. And it pushes against right there where the hole is. And what it does, it separates the two sides. Let me show you where the contact is. You see how it moves right there? So when it pushes in, in the closed position, it opens up the contacts. So no power goes through the two wires. When you put it on to a temperature setting, you're pulling away the bolt from this bimetal and the contacts touch. So the power goes through. Now, sometimes this does not separate because the gap is too tight. I don't know why that happens. Sometimes it does get tight. I found them like that. So what you have to do, you gotta separate this so it has free movement. And what you can do is put a, a screwdriver in here and just pry it apart, just enough so you have some movement. Once that's done, you can put it back together and it should work fine. Now, if you don't wanna mess with it, and you don't wanna play with it, uh, you can just buy a new one. In fact, these are old models and Maybe you might feel better buying a new one and replacing it. Just make sure you get the right one. There's the 120 volt, there's the 240 volt, there's the two wire connection, there's the four wire connection. Just make sure you replace it exactly the way you had it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out to understand how these things work. Appreciate a comment, a suggestion, a subscription, a thumbs up. Take care, be safe.